Good afternoon, and thank you for coming out uh, today. Over the past several days, my campaign has been involved in a project that we call Taking It to the Street. What this involved is me meeting with residents across the various neighborhoods in the city of Buffalo and filming video with them and giving them an opportunity to express and share their personal stories about neighborhood problems and community issues that have turned into battles with the Brown administration. The feedback that I've gotten from these residents has been astonishing. And it's, it appears that the mayor is unaware of the problems that they're having. Most of these problems are things that you could call citywide. So what we've decided to do, we're gonna partner with people. We're gonna help educate and remind the mayor of what's going on in our neighborhoods. I've been astonished at the stories that I've heard. And we've created a site where people can go and look at the various pictures that people have posted. As a result of my conversations with folks, we've posted our, uh, some of the things that we've seen, we've posted to our Facebook page and our website, and people have started sending in to us their own video, their own stories, their own pictures about things that are, are troubling them in their neighborhoods. So we've decided to take all of these pictures and post them to a site that we call www.byronbrownsbuffalo.com. People can go onto that site and look at the various pictures and the various concerns that neighbors are expressing about the area in which they live. What we're also going to do is allow people to post their own videos at talbert2013.com backslash Byron Browns Buffalo. It'll allow them to put up their own pictures about things that they see in their own neighborhoods. And once I'm elected mayor of this city, we're gonna go even further. We're gonna make sure when I'm elected that each one of those postings, each one of those videos, photos, they're gonna be addressed in some way, shape, or form during the first 100 days of my administration. We're gonna make sure that people know that we care, that we're listening, we hear you, and we're gonna do something about it. I've talked about some of the, the things that we've seen, but let me give you some specifics. A couple days ago, I talked with Reverend Krieger, who lives in the Lovejoy District, and he shared with me the fact that there's a home across the street from his that, that needed to be boarded up, and he was told that the city has no money, so if you want to board it up, you have to board it up on your own. And that's exactly what they, they've done. He and other neighbors have taken upon themselves to board up that home. Right next to that home was a barn that was, had been condemned, and the residents by them, had, of their own volition had to take that barn down plank by plank because it was a, not only was it an eyesore, but it was a hazard to, uh, to safety. In that same block, there's a house that was uh, the, uh, victimized by a Molotov cocktail, and it was on the fire marshal's list to be uh, to be destroyed, to be torn down. My understanding is that homes on that list have to be destroyed within 48 hours. According to Reverend Krager, it took four years before that home was finally taken down. So for four years, they had an unsafe condition existing in their neighborhood. They had a condition existing where young children could be harmed, where people could, might go into that building, and because of the fire damage, it was unsafe, could fall over at any time. And lastly, Reverend Krieger relayed to me the situation, the house right next door to his. The house, is the, the structure, the, the foundation is starting to bowl, and he's, his concern is that this house may, may very well fall over on his at any time. He showed us graphic examples of the deterioration in the foundation, in the chimney, in the, 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 the roof, things that no one should have to be concerned about when it comes to where they live and their own personal safety. We, I talked with uh, a shop owner, a restaurant owner on the Chippewa Street just yesterday. And he relayed to me that the city is not enforcing laws that are currently on the books. He also told me about a situation where local merchants offered to plant trees on Chippewa Street 
and they could not get a response from the city. They were willing to pay for these trees themselves, but they could not get the city to respond to their desire to plant trees. So the shop owners, the business owners have started adding this greenery on their own. Just today, not more than an hour ago, I met with an individual who lives on Tracy Street here in the uh, historic West Village area. And we looked at a, a building next to hers that was a nine unit uh, apartment building that has, has boarded up now, but it's, it's, it's an eyesore. And not only is it an eyesore, there's some safety issues. Uh, materials that have been torn off the building have been thrown in this woman's driveway. Uh, she, she says she can't do a whole lot about it, but she did see some hypodermic needles located in that pile of uh, material. What's especially frightening and saddening about this particular situation is that this building is right across the street from a public school here in Buffalo. Not only a public school, but it's a public school that I graduated from many years ago. And according to this resident, there have been situations where, instances, where children have seen drug dealers who have coded as a result of overdoses in this house, and they have to view that from the school playground, from the school yard, looking right across the street. They've talked to the city about the issue of the building, but to date, there's been no movement, there's been no action, and it's frustrating. These are the kinds of things that my administration will not tolerate when I'm the mayor of the city of Buffalo. These are the kinds of things that diminish the quality of life here in Buffalo. These are the kinds of things that we can do something about. All it does is it takes for a city hall to listen, to be concerned, to care, and then partner with the neighborhoods, get involved to make it better. I pledge that I'm going to do that. We will not have situations where people can't get an answer from City Hall. If you call City Hall when I'm the mayor, you'll get a response. That I pledge to you, that I guarantee.